who's controlling this dialogue? Who's controlling the narrative that our schools are in crisis? I'm sure the majority of them are in the large urban areas where you are seeing the greatest cuts towards public education, where you see the staffing of the schools are the most recent graduates who have the least amount of experience. Um, and I think it's, I think it's, a, it, it's taking the conversation away from where it should be, which is um, how do we restore economic and social justice opportunities for more Americans as we've seen those erode in the last 10 years or so. And that's, I'm, I'm a big advocate of that. Right. And in terms of, of students dropping out, I mean, I really believe that as teachers, this is one of the most important things we have to be thinking about is how do we keep our kids wanting to come to class? How do we keep them in school? And it's not like I'm trying to say, well, I need to be an entertainer and I got to make sure every day in class is like super fun and games. But if I'm not offering the student an educational experience that seems worthwhile to the student and the student's like, well, this doesn't seem to be doing anything for my future, then I think I'm failing as a teacher. I mean, I, I need to think of, it is my job to say it is vital for you to be here. Here's why. Here's why I'm going to show you in everything that we do so that when you leave here, you feel like that experience was enriching for me. You know, I'm not just going through the motions up here. And I think that's, you know, a big part of it. When I hear students say, well, yeah, school isn't doing much for me, a lot of times it feels like there's nothing during that student's school day that's making that student say, I want to be here. There's nothing that's saying, I want to be part of this community. I'm, I'm, my mind is being engaged. Challenged. And I think, you know, that's what we need to do as teachers. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I look back to when I started 25 years ago, and, you know, the metaphor is, you know, I was, I was the chef, I was the prep cook, I was everything. I, 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 I figured out what the menu was going to be, I planned it, I prepared it, and I, and I delivered it, and I owned it, and it was, and the kids, I could bring them in, and they could, they could own it also, and what's happened over the last, you know, the course of my career is more and more I'm just becoming a waiter of some curriculum that's being, you know, manufactured somewhere in Texas or California that has its own political agenda and its own financial interests and I'm being expected to deliver. And I think what you're talking about there, Jeff, is that entire, we don't have ownership, or they're trying to take our ownership away from what we do inside our classrooms. And that makes it a lot different. The kids feel it, they know it, and, and I think it, that affects our schools, our public schools, in, in a big way. I think the biggest challenges I've seen over the last 25 years has been, you know, the epidemic almost of you know, anxiety disorders and, and depression and you know, eating disorders that and it's it's predominantly in the young female students that, that pass through this school that completely is so gripping of their entire life engagement with you know a curriculum that we've been evolving into is, is virtually impossible. I think that's the biggest problem I've seen. But I feel like as teachers and administrators and policymakers in education, anything that we're doing to move away from like an authentic community experience, I think is really dangerous. It means that we're taking away our biggest strength as educators, which is like we got 30 people in a classroom as a, as a crucible. Um, you know, our laboratory for these people to understand the human condition and like talk to each other and, and try to be honest and break through some of the, the barriers that we all put up. And if, if we're moving away from that in our policy, I think that, yeah, why, why do kids want to come here? Why do they want to stay here if we're not challenging them to be their authentic selves? Yeah, or, or help them find their, their authentic selves, you know? There's nothing in this new curriculum that is geared in that direction. It's all, if it's not measurable, we don't want to deal with it. And how much, I mean, how much of what you've learned in your life or I've learned in my life is really measurable in that respect. It's, it's a tragedy.